I am making a MC4 extension cable to go from our solar panel array to our EcoFlow. This is, oh, about 100 feet of line, and I need one for positive, one for negative. You might be asking me why I didn't get black wire for one side of it, and that's purely out of cost savings. It's just cheaper to get one spool, and I'll be buying plenty of black wire for whenever we do our main array back in Montana. So what's really nice about these EcoFlows is they come with all of the wires that you need to do just about anything. This is the solar MC4 connectors that it comes with. It also comes with a car DC like cigarette adapter plug-in. Uh, so I've just been super impressed by these products. They, they all seem to work really well. So before I plug these together, I'm gonna double check them with a voltmeter just to be safe. I've done that before and lets the smoke out, bad things happen. At least I'm learning. Okay, got my dad's ancient voltmeter. I ordered a new one because I can't find mine. It's probably lost somewhere in Montana with the rest of my electrical stuff. So right now we're reading about oh, 120 volts, which is kind of expected for how cloudy it is. Um, it's really good. What can I run with 120 volts? Well, it's more like how many watts it's generating, which is something I still don't quite understand. So we're gonna find that out momentarily. Okay, here goes nothing. Hope all this is fused. Far, we're getting zero watts input, so I'm not entirely sure what's happening. Well, it's, it reads as it's getting solar. It's just getting so little it's not registering. Where is it reading at? Uh, I just saw a little solar icon down here. Oh, really? Yeah. It is 28 degrees here in Dallas this morning. A little chilly, but. I came out here to check on the EcoFlow this morning and we are generating 83 watts, somewhere between about 72 and somewhere between 72 and, and 85 watts right now. It is very cloudy, so it's rather expected. But all in all, I'm really happy because on a cloudy day, if I can generate 100 watts an hour, I'm, I'm pleased, especially off of three solar panels. That's pretty cool. So even on a cloudy, cold, icy day like this, we're pulling in about 50 watts at 3 o'clock. I'm sure the sun's about to go down a little bit further past the trees and we won't get a whole lot more. But all in all, I've been very pleased with these panels and the EcoFlow. Let's go take a look at the panels. There's a little bit of ice left on these, but it's all melted up here at the top. And it's not a ton right there. So all in all, I'm pretty pleased. So Casey and I are putting this video together and I realized I didn't have any footage of us testing this out in the daylight. Um, so I did take some screenshots and I'll show you guys that now of this thing generating 1100 watts in 
blue sky sunlight um, so it is performing very well in the sun and on cloudy days it is performing kind of as expected um, but we're looking forward to building our big solar array in Montana and we'll be getting started on that cabin build in about two months.